everybody. I'm Chris Salazar here with Vlad, the man behind Mural. So wanted to uh, yeah. uh, welcome you to Thank the you. Neck Gear family. Thank you very um, much. But uh, yeah, we're, so we're really excited to have Mural here, uh, Neck Gear CES 2019. Uh, tell us a little bit about Mural and just like, you know, where it came about and, sure. you know, everything about Mural. Yeah, totally. So Mural um, is really an art platform. So it's a, it's a beautiful piece of hardware, a frame. Um, you put it in your home, you connect it to Wi-Fi, and you have access to thousands of artworks from yeah. around the world. Um, and it's technically a smart home product, but really it's much more of a decor design product right. because it has technology, but it looks and feels like a real painting. Yeah. And you just use your app or you wave your hand in front of it and you can have anything from classical artwork to brand new art that's being created just for the mural platform. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. So we get a lot of people on social asking about the gestures yeah. uh, and the motion. And so sure. when you guys were creating the product, uh, what made you guys want to do gestures uh, that, are, that are kind of below the frame yeah. rather than touching the frame or anything like that. So what was the thought process? Yeah, so when we, uh, it took us about a, two years to develop the, the full product. Okay. We were incubated out of an artist co-op in downtown New York. So we worked with artists, designers, and one of the first bits of feedback we got was make sure it's not a touch screen. Gotcha. Make sure that people aren't touching the art. Uh, that was on one side. And then the other side, we were bringing uh, people to test it and to play with it, and people wanted some interaction on the frame itself. And so these kind of conflicting requirements led to the solution of why don't we have a touch-free gesture control a little bit below so that you're not Im impeding the art, but you're just interacting gotcha. with, with a nice, interesting way. Yeah, which uh, is nice. way. Yeah. yeah, and it makes it uh, a bit more personal too. Yeah. So, you know, when you're touching the screen, yeah, but we're, we're so used to that with our yeah. handheld devices, yeah. right? And our tablets and our phones. But when you have to gesture, it's like, okay, you're learning something. Yeah. It's kind of a more personal experience. It takes a little while, like a minute or two to get it. But once you get it, it's like magic. Yeah. And it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And it's really nice because you get it. Uh, you mentioned thousands of art pieces. Mm -hmm. So you can get, uh, you know, Degas, Da Vinci, obviously the big ones. Uh, we talked about Muhammad Ali earlier in another yeah. segment, yeah. even with Patrick, yeah. uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, Mona Lisa, you can get it, you know, in your room. Yeah. All those kind of things. So it's pretty awesome. So speaking of art pieces, though, what are your top art pieces uh, on mural that you just love, your go-to? So if you had a, you know, a nice dinner party, yeah. and everybody come over, uh, what would you have? Yeah. So that's a, that's a tough question. Um, I think in terms of classics, I like Edward Munch. Uh, you know, the Scream yep. is the classic. Yeah. But he did so many other things, and it's like really moody and gotcha. dark and interesting. Yeah. That's in terms of like classics. And then we have a new artist named Nacho Frades, um, and he creates these motion images. So it's like a beautiful pool, and then just a little bit of the water is moving. Oh, gotcha. And so you get this like classic art piece with a little bit of digital art and a little bit of motion oh, in awesome. included in it. So, so I, haven't, yeah. I haven't actually checked those out. So yeah. you know, as you guys are going through uh, the different paintings and the motion you yeah. talked about just now, um, how do you guys pick and curate all this content for everybody out there? It's hard. Um, we have a curatorial team in New York, and what they do is they go out and they meet with the artists, they meet with the, the galleries, the museums, the, the different sources of art, and we really pick and choose the things that look the best uh, on gotcha. the mural canvas. We curate it in a way where we want a broad reach, right. but it needs to look and feel right. Because it's going to be in your living room, it's going to be in your bedroom, it's going to be yeah. in, your, in, in, a, in an office space where it always needs to look great. Yeah, which is cool. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to put you on the spot here. All right. Um, favorite Nick Gear product other than Mural? Orby Voice. Ah, there we uh, go. It's easy. All right. Uh, I think it's really, really beautiful, first yeah. of all. It sounds awesome. And uh, it also has a functional purpose. Gotcha. It, it extends the Wi-Fi yeah. reach. So I think I, I'm just, I was just wowed by that product. Okay. Yeah, yeah, cool. OK, yeah. Orby Voice, we love it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know, we yeah. use it all the time, uh, everywhere in the office. I use it at home, so it's, yeah, it's great. Um, all right, so you're from New York. Yeah. Um, are you a native of New York? Or? I moved to New York when I was six years old. So okay. I, I consider myself a New Yorker at okay. this point. Yeah. So New York or Vegas? Uh, 10 to 1 New York. Oh, there we uh, go. All right. All right. Ve Vegas is good in small doses. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So, all right, last mm -hmm. question. If you had to pick one art piece on Miro yeah. to define Vlad, this is Vlad. This, yeah. is, this is who I am. Yeah. Um, maybe in this point in time, because uh, I know, you know art definitely we changes change. on your mood yeah. and yeah. whatever it is. But today, here, sitting right here next to me. <sighs> That's a good one. I, I, would, I would pick some of the Hudson Valley artists okay. because they go like real deep. It looks like a forest, but then you find this like little detail. Yep. So I think that's what we are. Like y it looks kind of 
like a forest, but then all of a sudden there are details within it that makes us oh, who, who we are. So yeah. it's art is a reflection of us. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I personally like Starry Night. Um, ah, you know, I, th yeah. I think it's it's, it's a, a classic, pretty common. Uh, yeah, classic. yeah. Uh, I like it. it it's yeah. pretty pretty cool. But yeah, uh, yes. All right, cool. Well, thank you very much thank you. for spending the time with us. Yeah. Uh, thank you everybody for tuning in. Nick here, CES 2019.